This is how to create clouds with Arnold in 3ds Max with no plugins. Step 1. Get your cloud file with the link in the description below. It's free, made by Disney, and is under 100% Creative Commons. It comes as a 16th, 8th, quarter, half, and full, progressively gaining quality with each one. We're using this file because it's free. There's other types of clouds that you can buy, but I found that this one is actually really good. I've used it on music videos, commercials, and logo animations. Also, why don't we make clouds from scratch? Because the only way that you can make clouds from scratch is with external plugins like Phoenix FD or FumeFX. So if you don't want to pay for plugins, a VDB file is probably your best bet. Before we add the cloud to our scene, press F10 to open the render setup. Click on Arnold Renderer and in the compatibility mode, select Arnold Compliant. This is really important actually. Under sampling and ray depth in volume indirect, you'll want to change the ray depth to 50. When you select a high ray depth like this at 50, what it does is the light inside the volume will bounce around several times, making it appear brighter. Next, X out of your render setup. In the drop down, go to Arnold, then click volume, hit the three dots that go to the place where you saved your cloud file. Select the 16th version because this is the lowest quality and we'll use this as our test render until we're ready to render the final scene. You'll get a pop-up and keep the first density on parameter grids checked and velocity grids unchecked and then select OK. Create the volume by clicking in the viewport. It's just a point box purposely not showing the cloud because it's a way to keep the viewport faster, but the cloud is there. Next, press M on your keyboard and where you see the volume shader, just drag and drop the standard volume into your material editor. And then these are the settings to use. Density, 4.3. Then change the depth under transparency to 15. Under the transparency color, do 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 1, 0, 0, and 0 0.7. And change the scatter color to white. Next, type in physical sky and drag that into your material slot. Open the environment tab with 8. For the azimuth, do 60, and then on the intensity, go to 3. Then drag the physical sky material into the environment map. Now render it out to see what you get. If you do the iterative rendering mode, it'll come out darker, so keep that in mind. From here, you can just drag with shift and use instance to duplicate the cloud files, and then, and then you can use this to make a whole scene. When you use instance, every duplicate is being routed from the one file instead of duplicating each file for a unique cloud. This speeds up your render time. You also don't have to use a physical sky material and drop it in the environment tab like we did. You could instead use a dome light and drag in an HDRI map. That also works just as well. It's all really just a matter of how you'd like to light your scene. And that's how you make clouds in 3ds Max. Thanks for watching.